Okay, let's address uh, this week's uh, morality with Motomity question. Now, the, we did a recent morality with Motomity, Lewis, where we asked the question, if there was a woman who had eight children, uh, all of whom had some kind of uh, medical issue. There's like blindness, deafness, and, and the, the, woman had, the woman had what? Syphilis. Syphilis. Right. Would you recommend that that woman have an abortion if you found out she had a pregnancy? On her ninth child. For a potential ninth child, exactly. Well, Brad from Terzana, who always uh, has issue with a lot of our uh, morality with Motomity, sent me an alternative one, which he thinks is a little bit more uh, difficult. Realistic, too, More I'd realistic, say. yeah. Here's the question. You're a doctor. Your, your, your patient comes in, healthy mother, wants a son, decides she will abort every single pregnancy that is a girl until she gets a pregnancy with a male child. Do you encourage her not to have the abortion? Do you refuse to do the abortion based on sex selection being the one barometer she's using, even though it would be a legal and perfectly safe medically abortion? What do you do, Lewis? Uh, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that one bit. I would probably try to convince her not to have the abortion. So you would try to convince her not to have it. If she said ultimately, though, I, I want an abortion this time, um, and is there any reason that you can't uh, give me this abortion, would you still perform that abortion? Um, well, I guess there are certain factors here. I, I mean, it's pretty safe to assume she'd be able to get one somewhere else. Right. Um, well, presumably... If she went somewhere else and didn't tell the other doctor why it was that she wanted the abortion, I don't know. We right, don't know that. Right. Uh, I have to say, I, I don't think I'd do it. You wouldn't perform the abortion? I don't think I would. And then if you were brought to a some kind of hearing about are you using some kind of personal prejudice to not perform this procedure, uh, what would you say? I would say that I believe abortions should only be used in certain situations and that sex selection is not one of them. Wow. Would it be okay for you if she just came to you and said, you know what, uh, this pregnancy was a mistake. I can't afford this child. I am not at a place in my life where I'm going to be able to take care of this child. I really need an abortion. That one I would assume because you are a pro-choice pro individual, you would be okay with that. Yeah. So it's actually the fact that she went on and gave more information and said, I really, uh, I really want a, uh, a boy. You would say, can't do it. Sorry. Probably. Probably, yeah. I mean, the other question that would really have to be asked is, would anyone who was using sex selection as the standard to, 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 to uh, procure abortions mentally ill in a way where you actually shouldn't perform it because they should be referred to uh, a psychiatric evaluation first? Is that a legitimate question? I think it depends on, on where, where you are. In America, it seems like that might, be, that might be really strange, but look at a place like China where... Uh, more couples seem to want to have boys because you're only allowed one child. You're only allowed one child, and they think that a boy will be more successful, is stronger, is more capable of doing what, what they want that person to do. So I don't know. I think I think socially, it would differ in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I would say that um, you know historically, even in our own culture, boys were preferred by a lot of parents. But, you know, they didn't have abortion or there weren't safe abortions. So people would have girls as kids and just try to have more kids. So a boy would pop up. But I would argue that the girls uh, were treated much worse and given less privileges than the boys, uh, not only in families, but in society. So, I mean, I would say that if this woman had, the, had a girl and would treat the girl way worse than the boy, maybe she should get an abortion to not have the girl. What do you think of that? Mm. Well, I don't know. Maternal instincts and whatnot, I think it's unlikely. I mean, in most cases, once you have a child, it's you love that child. There's plenty but, of neglect out there. There is. No, there all is. I'm, I'm I mean, being kind uh, of normally, ironic. Hold on, nor one at a time. Go ahead, Nate. Uh, just, I mean, I'm, I'm making an ironic point. I'm not serious about that, but I would say that if she's going to be such a bad mother to her girl child... Because she wanted a boy. Exactly. Maybe she shouldn't, she shouldn't have her. Yeah, that may be. That may be. Right. Well, thanks to Brad from Tarzana for that uh, scenario. Let's take a break. If you have an iPhone or Android phone, go to stitcher.com slash David Pakman Show. Download the Stitcher app. Use promo code David. We'll be back with more after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.